Hi, I'm Rennie Weir from WeirGuitarLessons.com. Today I'm going to show you a flowing melodic lead pattern using hammer-ons and pull-offs, very reminiscent of the style of Dickie Betts on his early Allman Brothers albums. Let's get started. Let's see if we can get a little closer look. First of all, we're going to use the notes evolving around our G shape in our cage. The first note is the 12th fret of the high E string, an E note, play with our pinky finger. The next note is the 9th fret of our high E string, a C sharp note, play with our index finger, finger 1. Then on the 12th fret of the B string, with our pinky finger, we play a B note. On to the 10th fret of the B string, we play an A note with our middle finger, finger 2. Then to the ninth fret of the B string, a G sharp note, play with our index finger, one. Then to the G string, the eleventh fret, an F sharp note, play with our index ring finger, three. Then to the ninth fret, an E note, play with our index finger, finger one. On to the D string, the eleventh fret, a C sharp, play with our ring finger, finger three. And then finally, to the ninth fret of the D string, a B note, play with our index finger, finger one. If you happen to be jamming in this pattern, you can still go to A, the A string, to the twelfth fret, with your pinky finger, an A note. To the eleventh fret, a G sharp note, play with your ring finger. And to the ninth fret, an F sharp note, play with your index finger, finger one. On to the low E string, the twelfth fret, play with your pinky finger. An E note to the ninth fret, a C sharp. Play with your index finger, finger one. Let's play these notes slowly so you can see them. Those are the notes used in the pattern I'm going to show you. Next we have these. Additional notes you may wish to play if you're creating your own pattern. Now, let's get on with the pattern I'm going to show you using the hammer-ons and the pull-offs. It starts on the D string with picking the 9th fret, then hammering to the 11th fret. Onto the G string, picking the 9th fret, hammering onto the 11th, then to the B string, picking the 10th fret, pulling off to the 9th, then back to the G string, picking, picking the 11th fret, again pulling off to the 9th, then back to the B string again, picking the 10th fret, pulling off to the 9th, then still on the B string, picking the 12th fret and pulling off to the 9th. Up to the high E string, picking the 12th fret, pulling off to the 9th. Back to the B string, picking the 12th fret, pulling off to the 9th. Back to the high E again, picking the 12th fret, pulling off to the 9th. Back to the B, picking the 12th, pulling off to the 9th, still on the B, picking the 10th fret, pulling off to the 9th, to the G string, picking the 11th fret, pulling off to the 9th, to the D string, picking the 11th fret, pulling off to the 9th, then hammering the 11th fret, stopping the note quickly, and then finally picking the ninth fret of the G string, adding vibrato. Sounds like a lot. Let's put it together slowly. It really isn't.
once again. Pick up the tempo just a little, well, just a wee bit. Let me try to slow it down. That was a bit fast. My picking notes are downstrokes. That's a preference of mine. It gets you into a nice groove when you're picking using the downstrokes. However, you can pick any way that you wish, up and down strokes, down strokes, whatever. Let's do this try at, at tempo. Let's see how we do. Okay, let's step back. I hope you learned a little something from today's lesson. We're going to try this again at tempo. Once again, thank you very much for joining me, Renny Weir, at WeirGuitarLessons.com. See you soon.